welcome everybody to episode 15 of the Forbidden Cast. We're kind of back to form in this episode, compared to last episode anyways. Um, you know, where I'm, I'm sitting in a room, talking to myself in front of the microphone, and watching the audio uh, format, audio waves or whatever, being uh, projected on a screen in front of me. As I speak. So that's, yeah. <laughs> so I know the audio in this episode will be a lot better than last episode anyways, but I hope you still enjoyed last episode. I feel like that was uh, kind of a nice little change of pace. And then, yeah, maybe every every so often, whenever I feel like things are getting kind of stagnant, I'll uh, do another video like that. And, uh, yeah, just to, just to change it up a little bit, just to have a little something different. Um still very early for me and I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little sip of my coffee here delightful I'm drinking just the Keurig um, uh, Tim Hortons French vanilla I got like a variety pack a uh, uh, like a almost $30 variety pack of like a bunch of different kinds of uh, the Tim Hortons Keurig things. There's like, I think, how many? There's like original, there's a bold blend, uh, there's a French vanilla, there's the Colombian, oh, and then just dark roast, so I guess five different kinds. But, uh, they're all, they're all very good. The French vanilla is my least favorite one out of all of them, so I'm not a huge fan of flavored coffees, but that's all that there's really left inside of my box right now, uh, so... Yeah, it'll, it'll have to do. It's strange how, as a kid, I never liked the taste of coffee. Now, as an adult, I, uh, I need it to <laughs> be able to function. <laughs> horrible, horrible addiction. Um, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, sorry, I'm, uh, I really trail off there, um, yeah, no, it's, uh, if, if you're noticing that my, I, my, my mood seems different, it's because, uh, I'm kind of absolutely miserable right now. <laughs> I shouldn't be, because, because I do have some cool things I'm doing, but, um, yeah, uh, it is hotter than hell <laughs> in my apartment building. Um, I think my, uh, I think my thermostat in my room that I'm recording in is reading, uh, 29 degrees uh is it, would that be fahrenheit or celsius i don't know i don't know i really don't know i couldn't even tell you what the difference is between those two because um fun fact interesting uh useful things like that knowing the difference between that and school um they didn't teach me uh so yeah thanks for wasting uh years of my life teach me useless shit that I literally never used, um, but, uh, you know, but not teaching me something useful, like the difference between Celsius and Fahrenheit, uh, and the same thing with ounces and, um, ounces and kgs and all that <laughs> useful shit that I can use in the kitchen and, uh, in other places and all that, you know, Things that I'm actually going to use in my lifetime, not fucking, I don't know, I'm trying to find an example of something <laughs> that they taught us in school, but I literally cannot think of anything. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, am, I am the worst person to deal with heat because I get absolutely miserable, I get sweaty, I get hot, I get anxious, because the more... <laughs> the more hot it is and the more uncomfortable that I am, the more anxious and irritable I get. <laughs> the more that I do that, the more snappier and the more just shitty mood I'm in. And it is the worst, and I'm the worst person to be around whenever it's too flippin' hot out. Um, and yeah, and it even sucks on top of that because, you know, it could be easily said, like, oh, get, like... Buy yourself a new fan or something like that. I can't even fucking do that <laughs> because they put a freaking mandatory lockdown, a stay-at-home order thing. So 
they're only selling essential shit. I know I can do the curbside pickup thing and whatnot, but I don't want to do that. I already work at a grocery store. You know, I walk by. They literally have a display of fans as I'm leaving work that are like $20. I could buy a goddamn fan as I'm going home, but I can't because of the stupid lockdown, <laughs> which I'm sure everybody's sick of. And yeah, and I'm just, I, I can't get sleep because it is hot and I can't sleep in the heat because, you know, it's just too hot and I'm too uncomfortable to sleep. So it's either I fall asleep for like 20 minutes and wake up every 20 minutes and try to do that for a span of like three to four hours maybe and then get no sleep or I just stay up and be miserable and it's just, there's just no winning. <laughs> <laughs> this is the absolute worst. So it's like, yeah, it's, it, yeah, not good. Because, yeah, for people who don't know, like, you, you can only buy the essential shit, which is, um, food, obviously. Um, and that, that implies for all food, not, not just, uh, you know, milk, egg, and whatever. No, like, all food. You can still buy sugar, you can still buy meat, you can still buy produce, you can still buy all that infant stuff. Uh, like formula and all that stuff. Um, what else can you buy? Um, oh yeah, cleaning supplies like, uh, you know, chemicals and whatnot, and uh, and and what they would call paper. Um, but like you know, toilet paper and uh, sponge towels and all that shit to be able to clean. And then also, pharmaceuticals still have to be open. Um. As well as, like, cosmetics stuff, sort of. So, like, you know, just more, like, hygiene-ish stuff. So, like, shampoos, conditioners, body wash, uh, mouthwash, and toothpaste, and toothbrushes, and all that. They can't take that away. And pet stuff. And, yeah, that's the only, that's about the only things that you're allowed to purchase right now. At any big grocery store. But. Yet, barbecues, you're still allowed to buy barbecues, because that's, that counts as an essential product, because it's related to food. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. But yet, you know, something like a fan, that is technically, yes, a luxury, which I understand, but... Which would allow me to, you know, which would allow a lot of people. I mean, I guess that technically the idea is to stay home. So if, you know, if you don't have all the rest of the shit open, people who have jobs, you know, for those sections just don't have jobs anymore. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm sure like Walmarts and whatnot can still use, well, they could definitely still use um, people from other departments to work in other departments and whatnot. But I don't know. Obviously, I'm just ranting, and I'm just miserable, and I'm in a horrible mood, so I probably shouldn't even be recording this podcast <laughs> right now, but um, uh, it's Thursday, technically morning for me, and uh, yeah, I gotta get this done <laughs> so that I, uh, I don't have to do a last-minute episode like I did last time, um, but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna take another sip of my coffee. delightful um no but in with, with some good news <laughs> is i finally purchased myself a proper camera um like a recording camera so that i can make videos and stuff like that so now i have no excuse other than you know being lazy and tired and unmotivated um but i technically have absolutely no excuse and no reason not to be making videos now um, I still would like to get another one, and I still would like to get, uh, like, kind of get a better setup to make videos, but videos will hopefully be coming soon. Um, I tend to like to make videos and stuff like that on my days off, so I'm not super rushed to get everything done, um, whereas the podcast is kind of different because, you know, I can just take a half hour out of my morning before I go to work and just get this done. Um, which is exactly what I'm doing 
today. Uh, but yeah, but videos I like to actually, you know, spend a little more time on and because obviously I got to do the editing and stuff like that because I find like editing is a big part of it uh, to make it interesting, you know, because, you know, my sense of humor is just like the weird kind of random stupid stuff. Like if anybody listening to this has ever watched um, a Brutal Moose <laughs> uh, video before specifically his like food videos his like food review videos like just a extra little like text that like kind of appears on screen for like a split second that you can read just saying like shut up idiot or something like that like as he's talking even though like he's the one editing the videos it's just like that kind of sarcastic um like anti-humor i guess that i i love and i i like to implement into my own like video making editing style I guess um and it's just a lot of fun it's just it I feel like it makes it more engaging for you know you the uh watcher or whatever but uh yeah I finally did get myself a camera like I said um and uh, yeah if you're wondering what kind of camera it is now a lot of people are probably just going to roll their eyes and be like you could have gotten so much better you know there's probably a, a bazillion other types of cameras that are cheaper or whatever um but uh no i bought myself the gopro hero 7 silver um now why did i go with that one well first of all it's 4k it is gopro is a good you know kind of brand name i know it's mainly for more actiony stuff um like underwater video is like to put it on top of your helmet as you're going for bike rides um and whatnot but i like how they're small and compact they're they are really good cameras they're you know they are nice high quality cameras they're sturdy um and they, and i do love how compact they are and it's affordable like i mean i know the hero 9 is pretty pricey still right now but that's because it's brand new and it has so many features on it but like the gopro hero 7 the one that i have the the silver one after taxes it came up to like 300 canadian dollars so like you know i can if i really really wanted to like i can easily put you know another like 300 dollars aside at some point and just buy myself another one you know so it's like it's easy or for me to be able to just get something that's good quality you know i can more versatile because it is smaller and everything like that so like if i do want to bring it around with me you know if i do need to go travel somewhere excuse me sorry um you know i can just do that and it's cool and yeah and it's just it will give me a good you know quality uh video um and then because before that with any videos that i've made it was all just with my phone um and the reason why i wanted to get an actual camera is because i was tired of using my phone because i just i hate using up the storage on my phone for the videos for one um and two because you know i hate having to set up my phone as a camera hit and record having to do a bunch of retakes and stuff like that because most of the time I mess up or you know I get camera shy and I just kind of like pause and have to redo the take or whatever because I mean like the Christmas video that I did like it was going to be a lot more different compared to what it actually finally came out to be because I was just so camera shy <laughs> and then I just like kind of gave up through a lot of it I, I did actually have a really good bit in uh, that I was going to do instead of the video because the idea that I had was that like I was just like was just getting too camera shy and like was starting just to get like demotivated as I was making as I was progressing through the video and making it that um, I was just going to like skip the two other steps because like there was three because if you haven't watched that video there's three steps to that video which was the intro and then there's the Christmas caroling one that I wrote the little uh, Wizard's Nog song for. 
and then there's the cooking video where I made uh, peppermint bark, and then there is the last step, which is, you know, Christmas holiday sort of drinks, um, and then I made the wizard's nog, like I got the inspiration from the song or whatever, um, and yeah, and the video is going to be a lot different where I just did the song, like originally, I just did the song, started doing the thing, and then just get demotivated, and then would just cut to me, you know, making myself supper, eating this said supper, and then ending the video there, and the video is only going to be like five minutes long, um, and then have the outro and everything, but, uh, but then yeah, then I was just like, no, like, I want to, I want to actually make this thing, like, good and cool and interesting, so... And then yeah, then I just had to retake everything, but I had it all, <laughs> that that whole other version of me getting, you know, slowly demotivated and just saying like, screw it, I'll just like make a bit out of like, oh, I gave up and made supper and that was it, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, so I don't know, that's the thing is what I'm trying to get at is like, I like being able to not use my phone as a camera, whereas now I actually have a camera, so I don't have any excuse not to be making videos. So, I mean, of course, you know, I can use the excuse that, you know, I get demotivated and whatever. But yeah, I feel like the more I do it, the more I'll be able to do it. Because, I mean, I did record <laughs> the video for the uh the gear review video um for my new pedal that i had mentioned a little while back of the uh, dry martini pedal um the overdrive i did record it and everything i didn't release it because and that was another issue too is that like with my new phone for some reason as i was trying to extract the videos from my phone to my computer which is what I always did prior, um, just for some weird reason, <laughs> my phone would just disconnect as it was extracting, and it would happen, like, every single time, and I don't know why, <laughs> it pissed me off, so that's why that video never came out, because I wanted to work on that video, and I wanted to put that video out, but that kept happening. So now I'm probably going to redo the video with my GoPro just to see how, you know, actually filming with that will be. Um, and then, yeah, and hopefully it'll be nice and fun. And that's the thing, too, is, like, it is my phone. You know, it's just, like, I use that for, you know, entertainment. You know, it's, like, as I have a lunch or something like that real quick, I'll just throw on a YouTube video, eat my lunch, watch a video, and then go back to work or whatever. But, like, if... I'm using my phone as the camera, <laughs> you know, I have to set up the camera, set it up as a camera, do the video, and then, you know, if I get a take and I was like, okay, I'll just stop for lunch and then come back afterwards, but I want to use my phone, I got to undo the setup, <laughs> go have lunch, you know, and then come back and reset it all back up and try to m match it as perfectly as I can. Whereas like now, I can just set up the camera, set it and forget it, basically. Um, so, yeah, anyways. <laughs> I'm just really hoping that I uh, actually hold myself accountable and uh, will actually do videos more, um, m more stuff anyways. And uh, yeah, and it's, it's gotten me more in a, in a mood to actually want to do videos as well, you know, instead of just always being feeling demotivated. I, I, I want, because I have this, you know, I do have that drive to like, I have this, so I should be using it. And, you know, I will be using it. Um, I haven't been able to use it yet because I've just been working, but I got this upcoming weekend off. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll definitely try to make some sort of video and, uh, hopefully, you know, knock on wood, <laughs> I will actually have a video out. I'm not going to promise anything just in case by chance anything comes up, but yeah, no, I think, uh, I think it'll be good. And I think I should, there should be a video out next week. 
Again, no promises though, <laughs> because it is me, and I don't want to promise anything. But uh, yeah. Anyways, I rented on for way too long about just nothing. That's all this podcast is. I just talk about nothing, <laughs> especially whenever I'm in a, not a super great mood. I just kind of spe- specifically talk about nothing. Um, this week's song recommendation. That's yeah. We'll we'll lead into that. Sorry. Also, I just took a, another sip of my coffee because I'm uh, running low. <laughs> Um, no, but this week's song recommendation, I want to recommend everybody going and checking out my buddy Lucas's band, Beyond These Shores. I feel like I've already recommended this, but I've revisited his second album, Creatures of Habit, as of uh, recently, and re-listening to it, it is a phenomenal album. It is the songs are super, super good. Just overall, I don't know if it's because I do have nostalgia for it already. Um, because, you know, like, all the memories I had practicing those songs with Lucas and everything. And hearing them over and over and over again. Because, we, we you know, we'd go through each song, like, four different times. You know, we just put one song on repeat and get to the next song do that like four times and keep doing that because the songs if you do decide to learn them they're super super fun to play for one and then two i just find as a listener as well they're really really nice and it sounds really good i feel like um the audio engineer and producer for that uh song mr ben leggett who also did the forbidden messiah album did a fantastic job mixing that album, and yeah, it sounds, the quality sounds really, really good, and Lucas' songs just really shine on that album, and it sucks because it gets me super excited for his third album, which is basically all recorded except for vocals, so, you know, <laughs> but because of what's ever, but what has been going on in the world, you know, it's been extremely difficult to be able to you know actually get the time to get the vocalists into the studio and do their parts or even you know the right lyrics and everything like that because everything's just crappy and just a shitty time um but it is what it is hopefully it'll be out at some point uh, because i really really like this third album song because i remember him uh lucas showing me the demos for that album and again really really awesome album really dark and and heavy but yeah for a specific song um lost time is still probably one of my favorites off of that album um i find the vocalist uh, mike charrette um does an amazing job on that song super powerful voice on that song uh but uh yeah i mean honestly i would recommend just checking out the entire album it'll be obviously in the link below in the description there'll be a link there is what i tried to say (laughs) um uh, but uh yeah so i would highly 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 recommend going to check that out and um yeah give it a listen purchase it i know lucas uh you know did want to wait till the third album was out to be able to put out his all three of his albums on streaming platforms but unfortunately at the time it is only available on Bandcamp um but uh, I think Bandcamp lis- lets you listen depending on what the artist set uh their profile to or whatever um for the most part you can listen to almost any song on Bandcamp absolutely for free as long as you know you you know, haven't had them downloaded or whatever, but if you want them downloaded, you did have to purchase them. And I think that's what Lucas's page is set up to be like, so honestly, like, yeah, if you dig his tunes and you want to keep listening to them, then you can just keep listening to them. And, uh, yeah, if you want to support him, then, yeah, you can buy his shit, so, yeah. And he also does have another album out as well, um, uh, 
In Search of More, which is the first album, and it, it is also really, really good, but I feel like the second album is, you know, in contrast to the first album, is just so much more of a <laughs> of a step forward. Um, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, I, uh, I don't know, there's still it's 25 minutes in, almost, was 26? Yeah. So, I don't know. This episode has been interesting. I've been ranting a lot. I've been not in a super great mood. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like that's super fun to listen to. But, um, yeah, I think I think, <laughs> I think this is where I'm going to end it for today. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just don't. I don't, I don't like doing this when I'm in a, in a uncomfortable, upset mood. And that's definitely what I am today. I'm super clammy. I'm super sweaty. And really really not looking forward to going to work uh, and it's uh, just hot and uncomfortable and I hate it and I want another fan for my apartment I want AC for my apartment but then I have to be paying more because AC does uh, electricity and electricity is expensive anyways <laughs> thank you so much for watching everybody um, I hope you enjoyed this episode for people who probably hated the audio on the last episode because it was just, you know, a video. Um, I hope this is much better for you. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you're watching this the day it's out, thank you for watching. If you're watching this any other day or any other time in your lifespan, thank you as well. If you're new to the show, please, please, by all means, give it a like if you liked it. Maybe subscribe for more because... Uh, new episodes of the Forbidden Cast come out every single Friday. And, uh, yeah, I've been doing this for 15 consecutive Fridays now. And I don't think I missed one thus far. So, let's keep it going. And I'm having a lot of fun doing this. And I, uh, yeah, like I've said in a, a long time ago, uh, that I like doing the YouTube stuff. And I would really, really like to do this for, uh, as a means of income someday i'm not expecting it to be so that's why i mean obviously i still got work but um yeah if i can get to that point once i start actually making videos <laughs> and uh making interesting stuff then yeah anyways everybody thank you so much for watching i'm gonna stop talking and whatnot so yeah i'll uh i'll see you on the next episode check out that thing from Bye. <laughs>